have a problem with one of the tops, which is crossfade. It only has two inputs, and I have five videos. Some of you might say, yeah, just use a switch top and enable blend between inputs option. Well, you see, the problem with that is, if I want to go all the way from input 5 to input 1, I get to see everything that's in between, which is not what I want. So I'm going to build a simple video mixer setup and show you how to do it, because that's what I'm doing here, Sh showing you little tricks, you know. Get five movie file ins, add a switch, connect everything, now duplicate the switch, add a crossfade and connect both switches. Let's say I'm on input 1 and I want to go to input 4, then all I have to do is just set the second switch to input 4 and crossfade to it. Then I can go back to switch 1, set it to another input and crossfade back. That's it! Thank you for watching and... Obviously, doing it manually every single time is kinda painful, so let's automate it. Add a keyboard and chop. We have five inputs, so we're gonna need five buttons. See? To detect if any of those were pressed, add a logic chop. Connect it. Set the combined channels to OR. Now we need something to control the crossfade. Add a count. Set the limit to loop min max and the limit maximum to 1. Connect it to a null and set it to control our crossfade. Now when I press any of those buttons, the crossfade changes. But it's a bit twitchy. Come down, you little crossfade. Insert a filter. That's better. You can control the crossfade speed with filter width. Now we need to know which button was pressed. Add a fan connected to the keyboard in. Set the operation to fan in. Now we need to know which switch should we update. Connect the count to another fan. We only need two channels. Add a map. Connect both fans to it. Set combined chops to multiply. We're almost there. Add a null. Connect each channel to its own switch. Now when you press a button, it transitions to the corresponding channel. But when you release the button, it goes back to input 1. Let's fix it. Add a hold chop. Connect the map to the first input. Connect to a null. Now connect this fan to the second input. That's how it's gonna know which channel to update. So that's it. You can use it to blend between any tops. You can control it with the keyboard or MIDI channels or LFOs. Or maybe just record everything into the record shop and let the touch designer do the same thing for you over and over again. I mean, it's cool.